Okay, brothers and sisters, we are going to quickly discuss, um, give me some bok choy. Love bok choy early in the morning with some grits. <laughs> um, we're going we're gonna to discuss a um, little science here um, on the subject of um, sound and vibrations. Many of our technology that we had in the olden days dealt with sound. Okay, you have um, an app on your in the Play Store called Frequency Generator, and uh, you can choose the frequency generator. You can plug it into Use your whatever device you have and, and plug it into um, a speaker and you can listen to the different frequencies. Um, we are dealing with understanding different parts of science to where we um, must. Um, Explore. I'm talking kind of low because my wife's at work, okay? <laughs> you know, we work from home. Um, and when you, let's look at the pyramids. And I remember us when we created those pyramids. The main focus of those pyramids was the sound that illuminated inside the pyramids. That was the main portion of it. I mean, the, the pyramids generated the sound that was generated because we had a frequency generator inside of the pyramids. I mean, we're talking about ancient technology. All right. These frequency generators are little boxes that you can measure the frequency through. And this is something that's been around for ages. All right. This stuff is not new. Don't think this stuff is new, brothers and sisters, because it's not new. All right. This is just stuff that we already had. Um, and the sound would cause whatever we have to vibrate. And that vibrating energy would send certain levels of energy into the atmosphere. And that was, you know, our structures were built. Um, many, the majority of our structures that we built. Um, the frequency or the sound was the basis of the energy. All right, so you got to understand that we had everything plugged into the ground. All right, everything was plugged into the ground because the ground was our battery. We didn't necessarily need um, um, a battery per se, but you know, so much of the planet has been damaged. You know, it's like a lot of the ground doesn't you gotta go deep 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 down into the ground or oh, before we didn't have to go that deep to the ground we have to go extremely deep to the ground now in order to um get certain levels of energy you know when at one point we could go three four five six feet deep in the ground because of the plan was rich in energy but since all this stuff they didn't put into the atmosphere and the fake rain this fake snow and all the shit that they do this it offset the balance or offset the um alkaline level of the planet okay so um in order to create that perfect battery you've got to go probably 12 13 14 feet deep um in the ground um one rod being copper the other rod being uh, zinc or iron, whichever one that be. Um, okay, now the whatever you create, you have the sound to be at the basis of it. And that sound is going to help to generate the energy into the atmosphere that you want. Each frequency 
has its own level of energy. The lower the frequency, the more powerful the energy. The higher the frequency, um, the more energetic is the energy. All right, so it's like extremely high frequencies is going to um, bring in energy level that's like so crazy, crazy. Like for instance, our moon, the frequency of the moon, the frequency of the sun is different. The frequency of the sun, um, it's like very low frequency. All right, the frequency of the moon is like. All right, so the moon has a higher frequency than the sun. All right, but the sun, you see what I'm saying? So the lower the frequency, the more powerful the energy. Um, the higher the frequency, the more energetic is the energy. So the energy and power, you know, it's just like the it's it's like fast and slow. So the energy of the, around the sun moves a whole lot slower than the energy in the moon. And when you're dealing with the frequency, the frequency generators, you have your speaker. And there's a device that I'm getting ready to um, create. And I want to have um, the speaker at the bottom of it. Um, and I'm going to have my crystals and all connected to it. I've already done the designs in my head. Um, a lot of times I don't put things on, write things on paper because it's like I have the designs right here in my head and I just create it. Um, and it's going to be made out of wood. Wood is an excellent, um, generator of energy and it vibrates on a very high level. Wood vibrates on an extremely high level. All right. Higher than metal, higher than, um, stone. All right. Because, um. It's not hollow on the inside, but because it's been cut down and dry, the energy around the wood um, can literally like shift off into a whole nother level. Which would, um, this is how we will, you know, the frequencies, you know, we were, our ancestors came through the wood, came through the trees, you know, our ancestors were birthed through the trees. So we have to understand the power of wood but um the main thing with your structures is you want to make sure that you have frequencies to operate those structures like I said you have your um, your phone device and you can be like I say you can pull up the frequency generator um, on the play store and all these different frequencies that you can use to um, um, send send waves, and these waves are literally different levels of information going into the atmosphere. So, where you have, like, for instance, you can have um, emerald wrapped with copper wrapped around it, or all right, excuse me, there <laughs> you can have emerald with copper wrapped around it, and then you have that. Um, let's say you have a um, a wooden circle or whatever, however you want, like I'm going to use a wooden circle and you have that um, copper wire stapled to the wood and you have um, uh, some other copper or whatever, um, some other crystals wrapped around, let's just say you all have emerald, alright, you're going to all have emerald, emerald is nothing but kryptonite, that's all emerald is, emerald is kryptonite, alright, um, because it is that plasma energy that possesses that krypton gas all right so what happens is when you put that frequency under and you put that speaker and you turn that speaker on and let's say it's connected to the wood and that wood is going to vibrate with that frequency and the, the vibrations of that frequency is going to cause krypton energy to go into the atmosphere all right so the same thing goes with all the other crystals, you know, and we're going to discuss the gases again so you guys can understand the gases. But um, this is a, a science moment here, <laughs> a moment where we can, um, that we're discussing science and exploring the ways of 
sound because sound is important uh, for us to uh, focus on and um, it's important that we um, practice with sound understanding different portions of sound but first you must create your structure your structure must have some type of hollowness on the inside so that when you crank up that sound is going to vibrate and it's going to send location off coast of Oregon blast oh. light magnitude 4.0 43 minutes ago it's going to send these this information of this energy into the atmosphere all right so um like we said the the pyramids the pyramids are all have frequency generators remember technology is ancient all this that you see is ancient we had already created this long ago all right it's just that now we have to gain the knowledge of it again and you know the frequency generator to hold a frequency inside of a unit and turn the dial and make things you know the, how you think so many ships of their operate in the cosmos frequency all right but when you're dealing with these frequencies and you're dealing with let's say wood 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 itself has got a radioactive um note to it wood has wood is radioactive the crystal is radioactive the copper is radioactive whatever you put on there that's all natural will radiate some type of um, radioactive energy into the atmosphere all right and this is something that you change so um, science moment this is like a, you know conscious with a conscious corner <laughs> just talking about sound and how um, different sounds um, play a role in different types of energies and uh, someone, I know someone's going to ask, say, well, you know, is this going to create a portal? It could. Um, portals are extremely and highly magnetic. It's a high magnetic field, a high radioactive field around it. Um, but it's not focusing on portals. Let's focus it on sending energies into the atmosphere that's going to help to change our entire concept. As the original beings, all right. You gotta understand, understand, understand that you know these inorganic beings are um, with all the towers and all that they put up. These towers are sending frequencies into the atmosphere for mind control. All right. So you know they learned this from us. Even all our towers that we had in the days of old, when they came here. And, you know, and the, the water that went place, the towers had frequencies coming out of them, and the frequencies were coming from frequency generators. All right, and we created a frequency generator, you know, with these different frequencies, ancient, ancient technology. Nothing, nothing on the planet is new. Okay, it's just everything is just re regurgitated but our enemies are regurgitating it but you know for us to create something and build something of a certain magnitude or stature will be new to us because it'll be new in this lifetime so um just want to pass it off on, on you guys you know about frequencies and we're going to get deeper into it you know i want to get outside you know like 25 degrees now and it's just too damn cold you know my wife was like no she's like i know you want to get out there but no it's too cold for you baby i was like all right <laughs> you know i gotta listen to my wife sometimes she is so wise oh my goodness she's a queen she is a queen she is my uh soulmate she really is my soulmate so um just want to share that with you guys um, these frequencies are important. All right, it's very important for us to understand that our structures, the powers of our structures, frequencies. 
frequencies, the energy, the, the sound processes the energy. You know, they went into the, um, the pyramids and they were saying, you know, this is this, what is this box? What is this box here? You know, we, you know, you gotta understand, understand, understand when they invaded, we went through the pyramids and we took everything out that needed to come out because um, we didn't want them to have possession of it. And um, we knew that it was devastating. We knew what was gonna happen because we had already seen the future. We had already seen what was gonna what was gonna take place. You know how devious these brothers, these, these these beings are. Um, I was going to say brothels. <laughs> <laughs> oh, not brothels, but uh, we know how devious, uh, devious these beings are. So um, that box that these inorganic beings are concerned about was actually a, a frequency generator and it's still on the planet but it's in a different dimension all right it's in a different dimension it's in a higher dimension here on the planet and it can't be seen in this realm at this present moment all right but as we take ourselves up to higher realms we'll start seeing a lot of things that were once um here long time ago and like we say it's still here it's just on another realm you know as we move up back into the higher realms we start seeing things appear that were never seen in, in our lifetime all right um there is a monolith being created by these beings in australia and they say that it's for it's designed to collect data but i think this is another form of them sending frequencies out into the atmosphere. You can understand that they learned our technology through us. They learned our technology that when you send certain frequencies out through the atmosphere, you can control certain things. All right, and this is technology. What we're going to be dealing with is intelligence. All right, and we're going to be sending frequencies out into the atmosphere. It's going to be of an intelligent manner. So. Whatever you create, you want to get some speakers or whatever and, and um, put it at the base of your structure and allow that the structure to um, to um, be hollow on the inside and therefore you um, crank that speaker up and go through your frequency generator and test all the frequencies and see how it works because you'll feel the energy from the frequencies okay and um you can then figure out what crystal you want to use and like we said we're going to go through the gases again so you guys can understand the gases because you remember each gas you know you have krypton you have xenon you have nitrogen you have oxygen you have hydrogen you have helium you have um What's, what else you have? Uh, okay, there's a few more gases. I gotta get. I gotta figure it out. <laughs> but um, these gases have certain colors to them when they're charged with plasma. And remember, when you wrap that copper around the crystal, all right, it activates that crystal. But then, when you put frequencies with it, when you have frequencies in the base of it, and the frequencies causes that vibration. All right, it's the vibration that literally creates the energy then that goes into the atmosphere all right so just want to share that with you all all right well, I'll catch you guys a little later um, I'm gonna grab me some grub up here got me some grits and some bok choy and I got my vegan sausage and some biscuits and, um, I want to have me a good time hmm. oh I can't forget my own hash brown Oh yeah, I love this round. So um pass it on to you all and I hope you all can do something with this. Alright, thank you, Lord Dale. All power to the multi shower celestial angelic beings make chaos ring with you ever and ever. Much power to you all.